everybody. Welcome to Monkey Business. I'm Addy, aka the Monkey. And I'm Nick, aka Dad. And uh, hey, this week um, we are doing an upgrade on our sound system. Yes. Um, it's been a hot topic with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic one just isn't really cutting it. I mean, we like the sound that that the basic one does but you know every once in a while you have a song come on that you really like and you just notice it doesn't sound quite like you remember it yeah. um, so we're gonna do an upgrade um, everything you see we're not being sponsored by anybody so no. this is stuff we've bought ourselves everything came from Crutchfield which again is not somebody that sponsors us or anything it's just a really good place to find reviews details um, and pretty much everything we needed um, we do have one piece that through these next few videos we don't have yet, which we'll get into. Yes. Um, but yeah, stick around to the end too, because we're not only talking about the speaker upgrade, we're also talking about our giveaway. So stick around to the end, find yes. out who wins, and we're going to talk about the next giveaway we have coming up. Because if you haven't watched our videos before, like, subscribe, and comment, because that yes. gets you entries into our Giveaways. giveaways. Yes. And we're trying to hit 500 subscribers by Monkey's birthday, which is on June 29th. Yes. Okay? So help us get there yes. by subscribing, liking, and sharing, sharing and yes. we'll be getting you entered into our giveaways. Oh yeah. And at the end of this video, we'll talk about who won this the the January giveaway Ooh. and we're going to talk about what the next giveaway is. So also, make sure that your um account is public because yes. I've noticed I've got a, a yes. we've got so many subscribers but I can't see everybody's name so if yeah. you don't want to make that public that's fine yeah. but make sure when you comment and like that your your name shows up so we yes. can get a hold of you and find out who you are so yes. so all right let's get into it yes. we're going to upgrade the front dash speakers now these are the ones that are on top of your dash in the Broncos um, and what we're going to go with is we're going with the Kicker CS series, and these are the four inch ones, okay? Um, the reason we, we chose them, you know, you look through Crutchfield, you look through a lot of places, they're a pretty popular choice for a lot of people. The CS series um, is probably one of the most popular ones out there with a lot of people upgrading. Kicker's a really well known brand. Yes. Uh, the other reason I went with it is Monk's got the, we'll put down the grill okay. for now, <laughs> but if you see here, the, the tweeter has a really low profile mm -hmm. and with our Bronco we want it to yeah. remain looking stock as much as possible yeah. so because of the low low tweeter on these it doesn't stick up real high mm -hmm. um, it'll fit underneath the grill and still give you that factory look now the other thing is we'll we'll show you through the installation of these the yeah. difference in magnets but I mean here you hold that that's heavy it's got some, it's got some weight to it yeah so it's got yeah. a low profile it's got a probably polypropylene um, woofer surround so that's obviously the little foam piece around here that is really really nice just for the fact that it, it's going to help with the woofer and for those mid-range um, sounds and that's kind of what we're looking for we're kind of missing that um, from the, the sound in the vehicle you, you get a lot of highs out of them out of the, a lot of the speakers um, but as we do some upgrades with the the four inch the six and a half and then what we do with the rear speakers um, i think it'll give us a, a lot more sound to it um, so yeah we've got a really nice woofer here yes. the other thing is too you've got a half inch um polyethylamide uh tweeter here which the dome tweeter is going to give us a lot more full sound and that front speakers, if you guys have seen those, it's basically just a plastic woofer. There's no tweeter to it or anything. So yeah. that, that half inch tweeter is really going to bring out a, a lot more of those highs. Yes. The other thing we're doing from Crutchfield too, and I've seen a lot of guys doing that. If you want to hold on to that for me, Monk. You got it. We are also, again, not, we're not sponsored by Crutchfield, but we're going to do their base blockers. And these are 300 hertz cutoffs. And the reason I did 300 hertz, because a lot of them have suggested on Crutchfield that a four inch, you want to go as high as six to 800 hertz cutoff um, to get those highs in there. But I still want to get some of the, the bass through that woofer. Yeah. So we went with a 300 hertz cutoff on these. And we're, we're going to show you during the install how these go in and how easy it is to do an upgrade on this. Because even some of the people I've seen on some of the forums have said, even the B&O is not really up to what they thought it was gonna sound like. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get into that as well. So yes. 
But uh, Crutchfield basically sends you everything. There is one other thing we have here sitting on the table, and, and that's these boom mats. I've seen a lot of guys using these, yes. and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Just for the simple fact that you're not going to lose any of that sound going back down into the dash, that these are going to direct the sound out and away from the speaker, more towards your ear. So we're going to use boom mat throughout the vehicle in the speaker installations, and, and we'll go through that on each one. But, yes. you know, we've got everything shown to you. Yeah. Let us know if you've done a speaker upgrade, what yes. you've done. I know a lot of guys are talking about doing marine-grade speakers. We didn't do that. Um, just for the simple fact, I'm hoping that we're not going to get caught out in the rain in this thing without the top on. Yeah, yeah you might have it happen, but, uh, I mean, Kicker has made these CS series uh, pretty automotive, automotively stout. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping they'll do just fine in case we did get caught in the rain. Yeah. Um, but that's never going to be the, the plan to be out driving and, and have yeah. the top off and it pouring down rain. Yes. So, But, yeah, we've shown you everything. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video so you can get entered into our giveaways. Um, and you know what? Uh, if you have any comments on what we're using, let us know. Let us know what you're using. Have you upgraded your sound system? Put a comment below and, and tell us. But don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment to get into those give giveaways. Yes. But as of right now, let's get started with the install. All right, so uh, the first thing we're going to start here on the passenger side with this grill here. Um, easiest thing to really start with is a, is a small flat-headed screwdriver. And the way Ford made these is you've got clips starting up here, um, and then it kind of goes back and in uh, into the dash back here. So you want to pry from the front of this grill uh, and pop it up against the windshield. Um, so I, I have found so far that the easiest way to do that is with uh, a flat, little flat headed screwdriver to get down in here and hopefully not mar it up too bad if at all. But yeah, you want to start up here and we'll pop that seat up, oh, popped out there already. And we'll work our way down the front here towards the engine, I guess. Work our way around to the sides on both sides and, yeah, and then it pops up like this, and then slides out. Yeah, you can see where they've got this ridge back here that sits underneath the dash. That's why you can't really pop it up from the back. And it, it's basically just five of these metal tabs holding it in place. So that's the first thing you need to do. Let's get that out of the way. And I've already put together um, the speaker wire here so this is from, uh, if I remember right, the name of the company is Metra. They do a lot of wiring harnesses for aftermarket speakers. Um, these are hard to come by right now. It looks like everybody's kind of out of stock. I went straight to Metra. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, which I'll put a link down below for those. But I didn't really want to cut the factory harness to to put in the, the ground and uh, positive. So um, I waited for these. Um, and then we've got them connected to the base blockers because we don't want too much bass coming through these front speakers. So these are the ones from Crutchfield that we talked about in the intro. Um, 300 hertz is what they're um, canceling at. Um, so yeah, it should give us a little bit more of the highs, um, but then also uh, give us a little bit of bass and some of those mids coming through too. So next up, let's get the speaker out here. What you're going to need for that is you'll need a socket and you don't really want a high high socket because of the windshield being here um you will need if i remember right this is a seven seven millimeter and pretty easy to get to if you're not using a a really deep or tall socket i'm just using a quarter inch here and yeah they come out pretty quickly so let's get this removed one thing is too, when you're removing these screws, make sure you don't lose it. Um, make sure when you pull these out, they don't fall back down in there uh, because that will cause a pretty good rattle and I'm not sure if they'd fall out from the bottom. Let's continue on with getting the speaker out. Now the whole assembly will come out here. Put that wrench off to the side. So here's the factory speaker. 
the factory connector right here. Um, so yeah, we'll get this disconnected here just by undoing this little clip here. And it just slides right off. Um, so here's your factory speaker. And then here's the new one. There's definitely a weight difference. That magnet, I can feel that magnet. Um, as far as like top to top, I mean, yeah, this speaker's a, a little bit deeper on um, the factory one, um, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but man, that magnet, I can just feel it more in that kicker speaker. And then obviously no tweeter. We're going to get better sound out of this. And then with putting in uh, that boom mat, which I have here, which we'll cut down to size here, um, fit it in there and run our wires through it and then screw it all down. So what I've done with the boom mat is, you can see it right through here. I put a little hole through there just so I can run my wires through. They say you can uh, you know, put some oh, silicone or something like that um, to make them watertight. I don't plan on taking this vehicle uh, purposefully through deep enough water that that should happen. And I have not soldered on my joints. Um, I haven't felt the need to on a lot of these kinds of clips. Um, but I guess if I do have an issue down the road uh, with that being a problem with them coming unclipped, then I guess we'll revisit that. Um, but yeah, it's just, just that easy. We'll get this face trimmed up a little bit to fit back in our hole here. And then, um, yeah, button up the passenger side. One thing to note, I'm on the driver's side now, passenger side's all put in. Uh, it feels like on the driver's side speaker enclosure, um, I had to trim up the boom mat a little bit more on this side. It doesn't feel there's quite as much room uh, underneath the dash here where your wiring and all that goes. I even shortened up the, the wiring a little bit um, and, and just soldered them together with some of my quick solders. Um, but yeah, just so you can see here, let me show you. Yeah, so far, I've done that solder joint there, which I love these connectors. I'll put a link down below. And these things are really great. Just add some heat to them. They shrink up like shrink wrap does. And then they've got some solder joints in there. Um, but yeah, there seems like there's less room over here. So I'm having to kind of get creative with pushing this wire around just to make sure we have as much room as we can get, um, especially with that base blocker attached. and. Making sure the connections stay on, um, since I didn't solder those joints, but make sure, yeah, you try to push that front in towards the windshield first in. That speaker will go underneath there. And then, because you want this thing sitting as flush as possible with the, the factory hardware. So, looks like now we've got a, a lot better fit here. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get this thing tightened down and get her wrapped up. Hey guys, too. <laughs> I just now noticed as I'm getting ready to put the grill back on, we've got the speaker in. Um, probably should trim a little bit more of the boom mat, but we'll see how it's doing because uh, this screw, well, the tab on this side is a little bent down, probably because there's still a little too much boom mat. But anyway, I was looking, I only had four tabs on my grill. Come to find out, this is broken off, this tab right here. Um, just at the base so it doesn't look like it broke it just kind of like well i mean it broke but separated and there it is sticking <laughs> right inside there so yeah again be careful when you're pulling these things out it looks like you know probably a good fail spot for for this but it looks like i'll be ordering a new grill for this side of the uh of the bronco Hey everybody, thanks for watching that four inch uh, Kicker CS install. Hopefully it's been informative on how to get those grills out the best way without breaking any tabs and then the wiring and all that. We do have another video coming up uh, here next with uh, the six and a half inch Kicker panel install where again, we're gonna be using um, some really nice speakers. So tune yes. in for that 
as well, but we definitely want to get to that giveaway. We've been talking about it. We, we've seen the names come up. We've watched the comments. Um, and we, you know, looked at who liked the videos and that. So we've got all your names right here. Addie's got all of the tabs of paper. We've printed everybody's names off here onto the each tab. So we're going to put them into the giveaway bag here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to each, well, you know what? I'm going to let you do it. Okay. I'm going to let her draw. Like we're going to draw six names. And then we've got a race we're going to do to see who the winner yes. of the Rhino USA tool bag is going to yes. be, which I absolutely love the colors on this thing. So really cool. Oh, we have to take these out. Well, let's so get, I the, didn't uh, grab these. get those silica packets <laughs> out of there. But we're going to kind of move them around in here. Hopefully, Addie can get to them. Let's get them in, in the middle here, make yeah. it easier for you to find them all. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and draw a name. This one. Okay, draw another name. We're going to draw six. This one. Okay. So I've got three. Kind of, ooh. Okay, we've got three more to go. See who's going to be. So I've got four. You got four? Okay, two more. Okay. And last one. And our dogs are going a little bit crazy with neighbors okay, I'm coming out. Okay, going to make out. sure I have six. Okay, so you got six there. Three. Four, five, six. Okay. So, so far, what we have racing for the bag is, oh, Adventures with Bucky. Kenneth Horitz will be racing for the bag. Oh, Mach 1 Shaken. Got that coming. Uh, Jorge Melkor. Howard Silvers. And last one racing is Greg Bakarev. So we'll get to racing here and we'll see who's coming out with the Rhino USA bag. Yay. Here we go. Our drivers for this race are Adventures with Bucky driving the blue GT in lane six. In the gray Interceptor, we have Jorge Melkor, who hopefully won't be chasing, but uh, running ahead of everybody. In the white Mustang Fastback, we have Kenneth Horitz. In the red futuristic looking, I believe this one's called Side Draft, is Howard Silvers. In the green Ford Falcon, we have Mach 1 Shaken. And in our yellow GT, driven by Greg Bakarev. All right, make sure none of the tape is sticking to any of the cars here. All right, we are ready to race. I don't see any of them. All right, on our mark, get set, go. And the winner, lane three, which is side draft. Howard Silvers, you're the winner. We'll definitely be sending you a message here on uh, winning the giveaway. All right. Well, everyone, Howard Silvers in Side Draft won our race. So uh, we'll be reaching out to you, Howard, um, to get your mailing address and get the uh, Rhino USA tool bag to you. Yes. Um, but yeah, hey, congratulations. And don't forget, we've still got uh, another giveaway coming up. Yes. It starts with this video, and here let's show a, let's show you what you're going to be uh, winning, being able to win this next go round. Well, thanks again for watching, and congratulations, Howard, on uh, the winning of the Rhino USA tool bag. Um, we've got another giveaway coming out here. You know, let's talk about it right now. Yeah. From our friends over at Sticker Fab, we got some of the carbon fiber overlays for your steering wheel your climate controls, and then also we're going to send you some of the seat belt retention pieces. Um, so when you take the hard top off or take the soft top down, you don't have the um, seat belts like seat, flopping. Seat, yeah, seat belts flopping around back there. We did them with ours and actually did a video of them. You know, yeah. we'll put a link of the seat belt things right above Addy there. But yeah, these overlays with carbon fiber will make it look like, you know, the F-150 Raptor carbon fiber editions or even the Bronco Raptors. Um, and if you want to go to Sticker Fab and look at 
all the products they have. Yeah. If you use the discount code M-N-K-Y-B-I-Z, mm -hmm. Monkey Biz, at the yeah. checkout, um, it'll get you a discount on, on whatever you buy there. So we'll yeah. put that in the links down below. But yeah, we appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to get entered to win the, uh, the next giveaway, which is mm -hmm. the carbon fiber overlays. Mm -hmm. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by Monk's birthday, which is June 29th. So every yeah. month we're going to have another giveaway. So oh, continue yeah. to watch and uh, hopefully you guys have a blessed day. Bye.